Hello, good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The date is Friday the 8th of October, the venue is the waterfront and we're here for the much, much, much anticipated colour. And it's going to be massive. So let's take a look. Yes, yes. <laughs> so here we are with the star of the night, Mr Jam. You can catch his radio show, is it 7 till 10 on uh, Saturday nights and most of the time... Uh, is 7 till 10, Monday to Thursday. On Radio 1 Extra. On Radio 1 Extra and Saturday night from 11pm on Radio 1 and Radio 1 Extra. There you go, there you go. And he's not also, he's been in various TV shows as well, is that yeah, right? Yeah, been in, had, had a little stint in Crossroads. The I new... did, yeah, yeah, a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, nice Good one. Good few yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 so you all got all your presenting skills and that brushed up on. Yeah. You yeah. give me a few tips afterwards <laughs> on where I went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> never that, never, never, never. Yeah, so so how you been doing this week? What have you been up to? Uh, just work, work and, and loads of work. At the moment, I'm on the road for my speaker box tour. Mm -hmm. um, we, we kicked it off in Nottingham um, end of last month. And we finish it um, mid next month, so I'm just basically on the road at this moment in time, playing music to people. Yeah, does that mean that you haven't got much uh, time for the studio and you're leaving the kind of production thing on the side? Well, with the production thing, I haven't really done for a very, very long time. I mean, for me, I've, I've been more concentrating on the DJ aspect of my career. Yeah. More than anything else, and, and you know, I'm, I'm still obviously going into the radio studios, so, but uh, it's been a long time since I've been into a recording studio. Does that mean that you kind of see yourself more as rather as the creator of good music, a sort of conduit, a kind of educator? of people towards good music and you're trying to push people towards Definitely. good music because one thing I certainly find these days and I'm sure lots of people are watching this will agree with there's such a proliferation of good music out there with Beatport all the, yeah. and all the various yeah. mediums of SoundCloud and all the places that are blasting music out it's very hard now to find good stuff unless you've got hours and hours to pour through records so, so I guess it's kind of great that there's guys like you out there luckily for me I get paid to do it so. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I can go through the beat ports, I can go through the sound clouds, you know, so many people will send me, you know, brand new music from established artists to those people that are kind of big on the underground but trying to want to break themselves a bit further. So, you know, if you listen to my radio shows, I hope to give people that kind of education as to what is hot. Yeah, do you have like various like key advisors then who'll come to you and say, look man, Mr. Jam, this is really hot, I swear, this is this is the thing you should be listening to. Do you have some sort of trusted trusted compadres who are like feeding you the good shit? I wish I did. Uh, yeah. I wish I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah then it cut down a lot of work for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe when you got the money it could be a job opening for one of you lucky <laughs> lucky people out there. Yeah, yeah. Could happen, could happen. Now you said you said your sandbox tour started in Nottingham, that's your hometown. Speaker box right? tour, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Um now what you know, everyone always talks about London all the time. London and this, London that, with the sound that's come from London, Grimes come from London, does steps come from London. What do you actually think the smaller towns around the UK can actually contribute to the sort of growing urban music scene? Well, for me, I think that music that's created outside of London has its own identity. I think, you know, London music is always going to be at the forefront of what's happening because the, the, the centre of the, the recording industry and the centre of the music industry is in London. You know, all your record labels are based there. All of the publishers are based there. The radio stations, the, you know, the major radio stations are based there. So London is obviously going to be a hub. But the thing that, that I always find is that when you go to places like Manchester, when you go to places like Nottingham, they've all got their own scenes and they've all got their own taste on a, on a particular sound and you know all you have to do is you know within the dubstep scene look at people like Mark One that have been there since day one he's from Manchester he brings his own influences to the music and then that kind of proliferates around even with you know London dubstep itself came from Croydon yeah. which is a suburb which is nowhere near the centre it's an hour and a half away no, from I've, the centre of London been, I've been at Croydon I've been at Croydon bus st station there <laughs> people throwing fireworks at other people down there in yeah. lovely place in lovely Lovely place, Croydon. Yeah, yeah. It means doesn't it mean like bowl of crocuses in, in Latin or something? Yeah. <laughs> it means hub of great music. Honest. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Communications hub. Yeah, you've, oh, you're totally phoned me now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, I mean, that's it. I mean, greatness is always going to be copied by people around. So if you're already like doing something and something's doing it well, we don't learn this stuff from books. We don't learn this stuff from reading the great how to make dubstep or how to make grime record. We're obviously going to copy those around us. Of course. And obviously those leaders in the scene who are obviously pushing the stuff, pushing the art, and pushing the pushing in the medium forwards yeah do you think though that there's too much emphasis being placed on dubstep as this new music as this this sort of savior of the club scene of the party scene within the, within England I think that a lot of the emphasis that's placed on dubstep is is from the media that don't quite understand what's happening in the music scene at the moment 
and, and the way that I see it is that bass led music is completely taken over and is completely dominating mm -hmm. you know kids these days rather than picking up guitars as you know they may have done in the 90s or even in the noughties they're picking up synthesizers they're picking up novation bass stations and they're they're creating this this kind of hybrid of drum and bass of traditional kind of dubstep tempo at 140 they're picking up grime and they're picking up hip-hop they're putting it all in a pot and they're seeing what sticks you know the dubstep is just a term that the media have kind of latched onto to make it sound a little bit easier for them to market for me you listen to the magnetic man album you know there's there's a whole host of different kind of influences in there from rave to techno to trance to you know there's there's orchestral pieces on that album you know, but it's it's under the dubstep umbrella because it's easier to kind of put it market under that and sell. Yeah, 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 I totally get you. And, and for for them, it's something that's new and it's something that's fresh. Whereas drum and bass has been around for a long while. Yeah, yeah, so, a hell of a long while. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's just getting on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I, th I think what you know, one thing that you mentioned there that's very interesting is the fact that we did have quite a scene within the UK that was very tight, and people were saying, "Well, I'm producing drum and bass. That's what I do. Produce drum and bass. I produce tech step. I produce jump up." And one of the things that's really caught me about this kind of new music is the fact like you're talking about magnetic man how people are a lot more prepared just to say well that's what i do musically you define me i'm not going to define myself yeah. you, you define it you say i'm dubstep all right brother i'm dubstep yeah? yeah but for me i'm just making music and i like that that's more creative to me because people can be so kind of hindered by that that fencing in yeah. and naming of what their what their vibe is okay we're going to wind this up now because it's taking enough of your time oh, yeah, no, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, no, 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 i completely agree i completely agree and for me the healthiest times i mean when you look at british music and you look at the last time that we were kind of in this this renaissance was was around way before my time but what people refer to as the second summer of love which is you know the acid house revolution yeah. where you'd have fabio and groove rider playing breaks but they didn't call it breaks it was rave but they didn't call it rave it was just kind of early jungle which acid ted yeah, yeah acid ted mate yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. what was it what did you call it and and people didn't allow themselves to be confined by genres and then look at what happened from that yeah we're yeah. in that same kind of position i want to go you know it's just so nice to go out and you know have a dj surprise you have go out and be surprised by the music go out and not go out and say oh well i hope he plays this one i hope i'm gonna listen to this i'm gonna listen to this. just yeah. we go out and be on the dance floor and be like whoa and just hear the tune yeah. first time you heard the tune takes it and that's the that's the beauty that's the beauty of music yeah Could now be. now you mentioned on the tv stuff earlier yeah i also know that you're in a, a tv show on the bbc that i watched a couple of times called is it treks and Flipside? Yeah, yeah 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 now when do you think that tv program makers are actually going to start really reflecting the urban scene and what's going on out there and more importantly having a laugh with it because we all know what's going on in life we all yeah. know what goes on in the day-to-day -day life and bbc comedy especially used to be really great but now it just seems to be a kind of almost like they don't seem to be actually really representing what's going on on no, the streets no. and that's where the humor is when do you think it's going to sort of come back when we make it ourselves yeah to, and that's the bottom line when we make it ourselves and we show them that it is viable yeah then that that's it i think the bbc as a, as a corporation are always looking for something that's fresh and that's new i think treks and flipside really really suffered because the people that were behind it on a production and, and writing level didn't get it yeah so you had me and you had you know a couple of the other actors within it that were going no this isn't right this isn't right this isn't right and they're going well let's just try this is, it this is this is the way we've always done it you'll do it like this yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah but absolutely. when we've got our own kind of when we've got our own directors and writers and producers and people that can actually make shows from the ground up then i think that you know let's well, be honest this is gonna carry happen, on it, carry yeah. on films were successful because it was one company that was making them that knew the audience that knew the format oh, can't they, just kept, they just kept throwing enough mud against the wall and some of exactly. stack yeah, well, no, yeah, but, yeah. They, but they knew what they knew their audience yeah, yeah, yeah. and they, they knew did, what to yeah. give them they did that, that body that body romps all right this is mr jam i'm going to ask i'm going to give you the mic now mr jam message for your fans message for all the people out there cool all the people that come with color be loving to them this is Mr. Jam. Uh, I'd just like to thank the whole of uh, Norwich who have come out tonight. I haven't even seen the nightclub just yet um, to come and represent here at Speakerbox versus Colour at the waterfront. Big up to everyone who's checking me out on radio, to everyone who's checked out No Hats, No Trainers, to everybody who is just supporting new British exciting music. In fact, no, scrap British. New exciting music worldwide. I salute you. Thank you very much.